Dustin Hughes. I am the CEO to Be Bold, and we are a company that helps individuals with disabilities into adaptive sports. I, I was an MMA fighter before, and I didn't really know how much I would even do after I lost my leg, especially above the knee. But they found this massive blood clot in my uh, right leg. I had one question, at some point in my life, am I gonna lose my leg? And the doctors were just like, yes, at some point of your life, you're probably gonna lose your leg. And so I had made the decision. So September 11th, they went in and they had taken it above the knee. After that, I was really, I was really pissed off at that point. I was really at a low point. Um, and I just, I, I remember praying to God, like, tell me, Show me a way. I was living down in Denver, and the majority of the time, my socket wasn't ready. And when it was ready, it was just this, the best way I can explain it is like a five gallon bucket. He had a poorly fit socket at the time. We had him in a diagnostic socket the same day. But I knew once I got into that socket, that things were a lot better. Since then, he's so active and he keeps pushing the boundaries of what's really possible with our artificial leg. Traditionally, we hand cast. And so we use plaster of Paris or we use some kind of a fiberglass. And we did, you know, wrapping of the limb, the residual limb that way. But now we're able to scan, to digitize. The Artec is very accurate. And then the 3D printing is more accurate. That combination makes it more viable, more practical. And I think it's definitely the future of prosthetics. The other sockets, it just, it, they didn't make sense to me. And then once I got into the Quattro, it's just, it, it totally made sense to me. So the best we can do is distribute the, those forces and make it as comfortable as possible. And our tech scanners, you know, they, they help accomplish that. If this can help me, it can help a lot of other people as well. And that's where we kind of developed the Be Bold Adaptive Boxing. We bring people in of all abilities to box and to find what works for them. There's no medicine that could produce that smile. You know, there's no amount of money that could produce that smile. It's just putting the gloves on and hitting something and having a good time doing it.